In this video, we will show you how easy it is to plug the DomesticShelters.org widgets into a website and what new features and resources you'll be able to offer your website visitors with these widgets. To get started, let's go to DomesticShelters.org. In the navigation, we'll scroll over resources and click on the widgets navigation item. On this page, there are four widgets to choose from. The Domestic Violence Facts widget will allow you to offer all sorts of statistics and facts to your visitors. They can select statistics by state or by topic. The statistics offered through this widget are refreshed every 24 hours, ensuring that you're providing current data. The Search for Help widget will allow you to offer a simple search tool where your visitors can enter their location and find domestic violence help from any one of the more than 3,300 services in the U.S. and Canada that are in our database. The Article Library widget will allow you to provide an archive of consumer-friendly articles on domestic violence topics. Each week we add articles to the archive and the newest articles appear at the top of the widget, giving your site a frequently updated appearance. And lastly, if you like all of those concepts, you can select the all-in-one widget that combines all of the widgets into one widget. Facts, search for help, and the article archive in one fell swoop. Once you've decided on the widgets you'd like to add, select whether you want the appearance of your widgets to carry the recognized Powered by Domestic Shelters.org label, or whether you would like to customize the widget with a color matching your site's design. You can see how each widget changes in appearance if we click Custom and enter a color code. Now it's time to determine which size widget you would like. Simply click on the preferred size based on the space you're trying to fill. Once that is done, the last step is to copy the snippets of code that you see here. And once you drop this code into your site, the widget will appear and be functioning. In fact, let's go ahead now and drop the snippets of code into this example site. How you access the code for your website or drop in the code will vary depending on your platform. In this case, the example site uses WordPress. If this is getting a bit technical, just contact your site's developer and they can tackle this for you in a matter of minutes. Let's go ahead and install the article library widget. Copy this snippet of code into your clipboard so we can paste it into the example site. Next, we'll log into the WordPress control panel for the example site. Click Appearance, then Editor, and in the right column, click on Header. Paste the snippet of code we copied earlier into the head tag like this. Pretty easy. Note that you only ever need to do this step once, regardless of how many different DomesticShelters.org widgets you want to use on your site. Don't forget to click Update File. Now let's go back to the widgets page on DomesticShelters.org for the final step, which places this second snippet of code where we want the widget to appear on the example site. On the WordPress control panel, click on Appearance, then Widgets, then Text, and then Add Widget. Paste the second snippet of code into the body field and click Save. With that done, let's now visit the example site and see the widget in action. You can see the article library widget now living on the example site. There are six articles showing and a search box that allows your website visitors to enter text to find articles by keyword. If we click on a particular article, we see that article appear in a new tab. We can click on the previous tab to return to our example site. Now let's perform a search by inserting the keyword protection order. And we'll see that we are presented with articles containing that phrase. The widgets are pretty slick little tools that can make any website more robust. Thank you for learning about the DomesticShelters.org widgets. We hope you found this video helpful and that you'll take five minutes to add one or more of the widgets to your site.